Intel share prices have been losing out to red hot gains in NVIDIA. According to Bloomberg, Intel sales are projected to end 2024 with $20 billion less revenue than it had in 2021. This is in stark contrast to NVIDIA sales, which are set to double, and AMD sales are projected to grow more than 10%. So Intel's been the market leader in the computer industry for many years, but now it's losing out to rivals. So on top of this, before we look at the seasonals, we can just see that Intel's price action is consolidating into a very narrow range after a sharp drop in April. And you can see here, there's a narrow sideways range that looks very vulnerable to a breakout. Now, if we look at the seasonals over the last 25 years, between the 2nd of July and 19th of July, Intel share prices have gained 72% of the time with a 3.27% average return. So a summer breakout of the recent range could be a possibility. However, there's another possibility that we need to be aware of as well, notwithstanding the summer breakout. If you just look at the period from 18th of July through to the 3rd of September, you can see that there's also quite a weak period coming up. And in fact, if we extend that out from mid-July down to the 1st of October, we can see that that is quite a significant period of weakness with an average fall of 6.86%. So we could see a de you know a fake breakout and then a downside breakout potentially. Certainly some things to be aware of and the seasonal patterns are worth thinking about, particularly with these tight technicals that Intel is stuck in right now. Remember the major trade risk here of course is that you know previous seasonal patterns don't necessarily repeat themselves each and every time. Don't forget, sign up here at Season X for literally thousands of more seasonal insights that are just waiting for you to find. Remember, don't just trade it, Season X it.